I want to start off with an interesting, so I was listening to different podcasts that you were on and different um, interviews that you've had. One of the things that I saw you say, or rather, I saw you make a bet with somebody no, named Joseph Lupin, who <laughs> says that Ethereum is the future and you said Bitcoin is the future. So my question is one, what exactly is the cost of those bets right now? And then two, based on the explosion of Bitcoin, I think it was like six Bitcoin on, or 16 Bitcoin on your part and 600 Ethereum on his part, I think maybe. And then also why, and then we can talk about why you are so bullish on the Bitcoin and then on the cryptocurrency space in general. Yeah, so um, I don't remember exactly how much it was. Um, the 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 dirty story about this bet is that Joe is a coward, <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna just <laughs> say it straight up. So, so the the crazy thing is, uh, this uh, the the bet occurred because I was on at a conference, uh, Consensus 2018. So it was May of 2018. And, um, you know, it's the biggest sort of like crypto conference in the world, right? So everybody comes, like yeah. thousands of people or whatever. And I was on stage with him. And um, and if you know anything about these conferences, especially in that era, 2018, it was like, it was crazy scammy, right? Like you, you had all of these people like going up on stage and they, they would pay to speak and all this other stuff so they could shill their own product. Yeah. Um, and like it, it was like hour after hour of that, and consensus made bank, of course, because they're you know they're getting paid both by the attendees, like a mm -hmm. couple thousand dollars each, and by the people that people are, who are who sponsoring their conference. So, I they they made tremendous amounts of money off of that. Um, and it's like around four or five in the afternoon, and I get I get put on a panel with him, uh, with with Joe Lubin and Amber Balde. Now um, I don't I don't know if you know who those people are, but Joe Lubin is the CEO of Consensus, uh, which is and he was like one of the early adopters of Ethereum, and he's been super bullish Ethereum the entire time. Rumor has it he at the time he had about a thousand employees at Consensus, and uh, he was uh, he was. Um, paying them in Ethereum uh, at the end of every month, and he wouldn't he wouldn't pay them in anything else. Like that 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 was how involved he was. Anyway, that during that uh, that stage, Amber was uh, you know she was uh, promoting her new startup, which was something called Clover, um, and she gave like uh, it, it, the panel was supposed to be like thirty five minutes or something like that, but she wanted fifteen minutes so she could shill her startup, of course. And she did. She she talked for 15 minutes about something about public blockchains and private blockchains and how they need to interoperate and how her new startup was going to be the key to doing all of that. And at the end, of course, she she she's like, "So guys, what do you think of my new startup?" And Joe goes, "Well, you know, it's definitely necessary. I think it's great. Blah blah blah." And right after that, I, I, I was I, I was just like, "You know what? That." was a slide deck of entirely just buzzwords. I don't know what your company does. I have no idea. And you could, you could feel the energy in the room, right? Like kind of like everyone was like about to fall asleep and they, they're like, what? what did he just on? say that? Did he really did, just, did say he just that? really say that? Seriously, like they, the entire room and then like they, you could you could feel an energy. And I just kept going. I was just like, you know, I, I and you know, you, you might be prove, you might be able to prove me wrong and I hope you do, but like I, I've seen so many decks like this that are just completely meaningless. It, it doesn't mean anything. And, uh, and and you know, like at this point, I think you're just playing kind of like buzzword bingo. Like okay, all right, like block whatever two, rings uh, in the head. Yeah, public. Uh, yeah, private. <laughs> it's just, just just like whatever. So that sort of like set set the entire panel. And towards the end, like, uh, you know, it was obviously kind of antagonistic, but also really, really popular, right? Like everyone on the internet was talking about it for like the next few days. Uh, <laughs> so toward, towards the end, uh, you know, like they, we were kind of debating back and forth. It was basically me against the both of them. Uh, so Amber sort of asked like, okay, five years from now, where do you think blockchain technology will be? And Joe got to answer first, so he he was like kind of sarcastic or whatever. He said, "Well, five years from now, we're gonna we're gonna see you know everything built on blockchain. This this is in 2018, so this is 2023 or a couple of years from now." No. And so uh, and afterwards, uh, you know, I got to answer, and I was like, "You know what? Five years ago, this is 2013. There were all of these quote unquote blockchain projects. None of them have come to anything. So." <laughs> I don't see why I, I why the next five years will be anything different because I know the technology and I know it doesn't make any sense. 
<laughs> and, uh, and and basically, as soon as I said that, he he got up and said, "If we can find some crisp criteria, I will bet you any amount of money that you are wrong." So right there, we shook hands and everything, right? So uh, he's like, uh, and he tweeted right afterwards, "What well, that was fun, Jimmy. Let's keep in touch." So I email him for like the next uh, next month, trying trying to work out the details. And it, seriously, it was like this every single time. I would email him and then he would take like six days to respond and it would be one of his henchmen or something like that. <laughs> um, and, and each time it's just like, okay, I want these terms, I want these terms and, and his henchmen will come back or whatever. Eventually I got Laura Shin, who's like a you know major podcasting person that knows both me and Joe to have both of us on so we can finalize the terms of the bet. So we're both on the podcast, we're talking about the bet and that might've been the one that you listened to, I don't know. Yeah. And, uh, and we're, we're, we're talking about it. And then towards the end, uh, both Laura and I think that we're supposed to finalize the bet on that show. And of course, at the end, Joe weasels out and he's like, you know, I need to go back to my people oh. and blah, blah, blah. blah. And we don't... So I, I keep emailing <laughs> him and he doesn't respond, right? So Consensus 2019 comes around and this time, I'm, I'm there, he's there, yep. and they have this thing called Consensus Live, where, uh, you know, they, they just sort of, like, interview people. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, like, uh, you know, this bet still hasn't resolved. You, if if uh, Joe Lubin will agree to come on, we'll, we'll, we'll hash it out right there. So, again, we go on, it's like, they had Ron Paul on this thing, right? Like, so it should, like, wow. th that should be by far, like, the the most popular one, not even close. The 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 live stream with me and Joe like beat everything by 10x. Everybody wanted to know. Everybody wanted to know. So we're we're talking, and uh, we we hash out the terms of the bed and everything. We shake on it. He makes me hug him and everything else. Nothing. He uh, like supposed terms or whatever. There's some ambiguities. I'm trying to get him clarified. Doesn't doesn't do anything with it. And like, basically he's been a coward the entire time. And, and the thing is like, this is something that, uh, that people told me like almost right after I made the bet is, you know, Jimmy, he's, he's not going to complete the bet with me. I'm like, why not? <laughs> uh, 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 what? If he actually wanted to complete the bet, he'd be like on you, like, uh, like all day right on day. rice or something, right? Like he, he, <laughs> he would, he would want to get the terms of the bet absolutely clear because if he was convinced that he was right. Like this is what he would do. If, it, if it's a sucker's bet on his side, he, if he thinks it's a sucker's bet, he would do everything in his power to, to try The only reason it. he even said that was so that he would save face and that he wouldn't look foolish. Um, and I've had so many people like from Consensus, the company tell me, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe he did that. And he's not completing the bet with you. Uh, he, he got written up in uh, several different publications, including the New Yorker about this very bet. So I know he's feeling embarrassed about it, but you know, he, he just- he Trying just to sort distance of like, himself uh, as much as possible from it. Yeah, so that's the story behind the bet. But why do I think it's not gonna happen? Well, I mean, everything that I've seen about sort of like crypto, other than Bitcoin, is almost entirely based on speculation. And yep. there's no actual users. Yep. So, um, so the actual reason, that, and this is pretty much the you know argument that I gave on stage, uh, three, you know, in, at, at consensus three years ago, is you know you you look at any of these projects, and almost all of the all of the price increase is due to speculation uh, of people sort of like fomoing in and out or whatever. Uh, there's actually very few users of any of these systems. So you look at something like, um, you know. Uh, you know the gambling one. I can't remember for some reason, but there, there, there's a there's a token that's for gambling or something like that, right? And uh, they get like 40 daily active users, which is insanely low, right? If you if your podcast got 40 listens a day, like that would not be considered like an amazing podcast. Like no. it, 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 if it, like, and this is what he's pointing to as like something that would potentially disrupt Facebook. You know how many daily active users Facebook gets? <laughs> One billion. A billion okay? a like, day. It's like a it, billion. It's creeping this is, up closer to be like two billion a day. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is like six orders of magnitude like off uh, from 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 what he's saying. 
So like the terms of the bet I came up with are like absolutely reasonable, right? Like 10,000 daily active users, 100,000 monthly active users. That is like sort of like the base. Baseline. Uh, like that, if you can get that on an app, that's considered like a mid tier app on an Android or iPhone or something like that. Yeah. 10,000, 100,000. That's, and that's like the bare minimum. If it, like something like Instagram is gonna get way more than that. WhatsApp or yep. uh, Signal, Telegram, any, any of these apps any that are app. like, yeah, that that are actually popular, they get way more than a million. Ten thousand a day is not asking for the money. Yet, you know, he he's afraid to do it because he know he knows the truth, which is that most of these things, in fact, all of these things, other than Bitcoin, are like scammy, Very right? Expensive. Like they don't have actual users, and they they are vehicles to sort of like perpetuate uh, people putting more money in for the founders who issued the coin. It's it's people printing their own money and. Uh, and you know that that's the scam he wants to perpetuate yeah I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of the Rambling Mind podcast. If you want more of the Rambling Mind podcast, or if you want to listen to the whole episode that you just heard, go check it out on any podcast listening platform, whether that be Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Stitcher. I could go on and on, but you guys already know which podcast you love to use to listen to. So go check it out. Link down in the description as well. I'm going to catch you all later. Peace.